Synopsis CEO Art DeGius. Art, great to have you. Uh, first, I, I want to clear up something on the quarter because um, I'm a guide for the current quarter. It looks to me like you're mostly dealing with a tough comp and your patterns returning to normal seasonal patterns, and you did a firm full year, but is there something else in here with maybe customers trying to delay fab rollouts or, or something that's affecting you on the design side? I don't know. No, actually, there's nothing uh, that has changed. The, the outlook is just as good as it was before, and we reiterated guidance, which is excellent, of growth uh, of 14 to 15 percent for the year. I think, and, and the, uh, the reason is probably on our side, that we were not clear enough how the uh, distribution over the year, quarter to quarter, was different than last year, which was somewhat extraordinary. And so we're back to the normal way of uh, quarter after quarter increasing over time. And uh, side of that, actually, uh, the, the outlook is very positive. Okay, now I, I want to get into this AI question because a lot of people might not know, you guys have the software that the leading edge semiconductor makers need to, to design the future. And with, with all of this intention on AI now, you've got this DSO.AI product. How is that uh, affecting the way you view future profitability and the amount of sort of revenue share that you think you can get in this industry? Oh, it's extremely positive. And let me explain what we do. You know, we provide the, the tools to design chips for all of the uh, semiconductor uh, companies in the world. We also provide the basic building blocks. Think of it as little Lego pieces of designs that are finished. And, you know, the first is about 65 percent of our business. The second is 25 percent. And so we touch literally all of the advanced designs in the world. And so the reason this is so powerful is that we have now a whole new wave where design is enhanced by using the very AI for which so many customers design chips. And this has started to happen about two years, two and a half years ago. And I was surprised myself how good the results are because what they, it took many months can now be done in weeks. And at the same time, you get better results. And better results mean faster chips, hmm. lower power chips, and in some cases, also smaller chips. Now, and so, our, our, yes, at, at, at a certain point, I hate to interrupt you, but I want to sort of uh, get more elaboration in a particular area from you here. Do investors, should investors expect to see an inflection point in your financial results even? Because I believe you said on the call, unlike so many other companies in tech that are seeing longer lead times for deals, that especially when it comes to the software to enable AI, you're seeing customers make faster decisions. So how does that play out in, in the financials? Well, it plays out that, that we will have uh, hopefully continued very, very good growth in our field. Actually, today we are the, the fastest grower in, in the EDA field. And uh, these technologies are so essential that customers will try to apply them as quick as they can learn how to use them. Now, this is all pretty new, and so literally every quarter we have new and better results. And it's super exciting to see because what we saw uh, in the last year and a half is that in contrast to the past where people adopt new tools, learn how to use them, and so on, in this case, they, they use them a little bit and immediately move them to production design, meaning real designs that go to manufacturing in the year and then go to the market shortly thereafter. And so on our customer side, they really like what we're doing. And so the, the opportunity for us economically, therefore, is very positive. Mm. Now, there's negotiation, there's all, all of that, but uh, there's no doubt that over the last few years, Synopsys has a higher growth ramp than before, okay. and we expect that to continue.